2011, HIV and AIDS were first detected more than 40 years ago, and it rocked the world. Cases spread quickly across the country and around the world with little known about a cure. It was considered a death sentence at the time, but a lot has changed since then. Thanks to advancing technology, a third HIV positive patient has been cured. Dr. Kevin Stevens is joining us with details on how transplant procedures are saving lives. And there is medicine to help people with HIV or AIDS. But first of all, let's talk about the difference in HIV and AIDS, because there is a difference. Yeah, yes. So HIV is human immunodeficiency virus. That's the virus. And AIDS is a whole complex of illness that comes along with it, where you have autoimmune deficiency, where your body immune system is basically destroyed. So people like the COVID-19, if you don't have the immunity to fight it, you have a, a more problematic outcome with with, H, with AIDS, AIDS, yes. And for a long time, AIDS was a death sentence, but there have been a lot of changes since then. There are a lot of medicines out, but this transplant uh, 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 surgery is a whole new ball game. Oh yeah, now this has really transformed. I mean, our new technology today, even with the um, COVID vaccine, we have a whole new set of what we call emerging technologies, which is just fantastic. So in this case, in this third case, what happened, this woman, she had HIV AIDS and she received her medication and she got a lower level to where it wasn't detectable. But then on the top of that, she developed leukemia. And so they did a transplant of bone marrow and they did what we call cord blood kind of transplant. Now, let me take a second with that. Umbilical cord transplant is when the baby is born, you take the blood out the placenta and you actually freeze it and restore it because it is filled with what we call stem cells. And that's what happens when you do a bone marrow transplant. We get stem cells out of the bone marrow. Well, the cord blood has a lot of stem cells in it and it's a great source for stem cells. And that's what was used to treat this one lady. And then she developed totally uh, immunity against HIV AIDS, which is remarkable. So then, then in this case, she's totally cured with the, the drugs that are out now they manage HIV or, or AIDS. Uh, this, this actually is a cure? Yeah, so that's, you bring up a great point as always, Eric, but I like talking to you, you know? Uh, because what happens is that when you use drug pharmaceutical, you treat the virus, you treat the immune system, that thing. But this is a transportation, transplant of stem cells and the stem cells grow to produce uh, immunity, it produces your white cells and so forth that gives you immunity to fight the virus. Like uh, in a cold, the reason uh, our body fights the cold internally, and that's what happens with these stem cells. They grow and you develop your immune system. So this is a whole new technology. And this stem cell research is not only, you know, helping out with, with HIV or AIDS, it is also being, being used in, in many other uh, 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 problems with people. Oh, absolutely. And that's a whole new thing now. Nowadays, uh, when babies are born, you can actually, you have a choice. They have public uh, blood banks that store these caught blood samples and uh, you have private uh, agencies that do it. And then what they, they freeze it at like minus 196 degrees and it lasts for like 20 years. But these cells are there. So what if you need it, you have some cells um, that can be transplanted in cases like this. So it, it is a whole new technology and it's really, we're just at the beginning of this. And so come to years to come, it will probably be amazing in what we'll be able to actually not just treat, but to cure. And there are people who, who, who worry about, it, be, it, be, it became very controversial stem cell research, things like that, because they thought it was from th the fetuses of aborted babies. In this case, this is from babies who were born, they're fine, but, you know, they are able to help other people with their stem cells. Yeah, I think you bring up another great point because what happens when you have bone marrow trans transplants, you got to find a match and then you have to call HLA matching that you have to do and those kind of things. And they can take months to find somebody who has a genetic match with you. But with the cord blood, it takes maybe three or four days or something because the, the match is known. And so it expedites things. And you're absolutely right. It comes from healthy children. It's not uh, bought at fetus or nothing like that. Uh, so all those concerns are really uh, not uh, mitigated for the most part because it's a healthy baby and it's not anything experimental and investigational as such. Yeah, and it's giving people a new lease on life. Dr. Stevens, thank you very much. We appreciate it.